We have a crazy deal for the gear wrench mechanic in a box for you today. With the cold weather comes dead batteries, but Top Don has you covered with two brand new jump boxes. Lyle has done it again with a new tool for all of those stubborn connectors and tight access locations. The flare nut socket made by Lyle has changed the industry, but now they have added an SAE set to make your job even easier. Make sure you're following us on all platforms for daily promotions, new content, and some of the biggest tools on the market. This Friday, November 15th, we will be releasing our holiday gift guide for your holiday shopping needs. what's happening this is connor jordan your internet guy i am matt sledge i'm one of a tool truck driver and this is drew nicolaitis he is the other murfreesboro tool truck driver and guys we're bringing you i'm bringing you one of my favorite tools and i can't wait to talk about this thing because i love this thing called a mechanic in a box I actually named it uh i hope Gearinch picks that up and pays me for it trademark yeah, it probably yeah won't. That, that would be that'd be absolutely awesome but what is a mechanic in a box you might ask okay so uh this is basically a box and it is very heavy and this is in my opinion i think this is all you need to basically oh, fix a car man like and, if you're just starting out or if you need an extra tool set at the house that way you're not dragging stuff from your shop right back home i mean you know it's got you covered it's way different than any kind of thing you can buy from craftsman or like husky or something like that yeah i understand that a husky has got some tools in it but guys this thing has six point twelve point wrenches sockets ratchets spark plugs extensions i mean it basically has everything in it except for a universal so let's yeah. don't actual waste mechanic tools. let's don't waste any more time let's open up the top actually i'm going to split this open i'm doing this in reverse i'm never used to showing this i'm just going to hand connor this top drawer that's quite heavy and yeah, it's pretty heavy yeah and then i'll hand drew this one i don't even know what's in this drawer and then i'll take the bottom drawer and uh connor i'll let you go ahead and go first with what's in the top drawer yeah guys so in this drawer right here this is the half inch drive socket set so you're going to get a metric set from a 15 all the way up to i believe it's a 27 yep 27 right here and an inch and a half and an inch and a half in the standard set i hadn't got there yet oh. but you do a <laughs> seven eighths all the way up to Just inch so and a half in the standard but these are all 12 point, like we said. You get a ratchet um, right here as well. This is a 72 tooth ratchet you're gonna get from Gear Wrench. And then you also get a few half inch extensions. I believe there's some more somewhere hidden in this box. They're all hidden throughout. And But the other key feature that you get out of this drawer is your standard wrenches. Now these are not ratcheting wrenches. These are your normal 12 point combination wrenches. But this is a great way to get started in the tool, not the tool business, the mechanic business. Yeah, the mechanic or, world. If you like ride motorcycles, Matt keeps one of these in his trailer for motorcycles. It's perfect for all that, too. I do. I take this to the track with me, guys, and it is like the, I'm the most popular guy there because you know how everybody's toolbox is. You get somewhere, and they only have, like, stuff thrown in a bag. So you might have half the socket sets. And one thing, about, one thing that's awesome about this kit is it's straight-up organization, too. So if you are working on something and you're over there working on a car and you drop a few sockets because we know that 10-millimeter likes to find itself into a, its own little hole... You come back to your, your set, and you know you're missing it. It makes you go look for it. So what's included in the middle drawer? Or I'm sorry, excuse me, the bottom drawer. In the bottom drawer, you're going to get your quarter-inch ratchet, 72 teeth. You are going to get the quarter-inch extensions. You are going to get a bit driver, which is pretty nice. It's a little screwdriver. This will get you out of a pinch, and maybe if you're on the side of the road, you get a couple Torx bits in there. You get two spark plugs, two spark plug sizes. You get a set of metric Allens and a set of standard Allens. And then, guys, you get 12-point and you get 6-point in the quarter inch. So you're going to get 12-point for uh, maybe some of those Mercedes or some of those European cars. And then you have 6-point here. And then you have deep in metric and standard also in all the quarter inch. And if you're like an HVAC guy, you got little nut drivers here, yeah. which is pretty cool. And there's an actually adapter in here that you can put it on your ratchet and use it, use your ratchet instead of having to use that funky screwdriver. So what do you got, Drew? I have the 3-8 set. So... On your metric side, you're going to go 6 through 22. So really, you know, if you're using like a Milwaukee mid-torque and you want to throw some lug nuts off. I mean, 22 is pretty big in a 3 8 Oh, absolutely. And then from a quarter to 7 8 So that's going to be your deep and shallow. Uh, deep and shallow on the standard also. And 12 point on the metric and the standard, which is pretty cool. It comes with... A six inch uh, three edge extension and a three inch uh, three eighths extension, and also a pretty nice little three eighths ratchet. Um, 
It's a 90, 70? It's a 72 tooth. It's a yeah. something tooth, you know? <laughs> but at the end of the day, compared to a Lowe's or wherever tool set, because there is some sets out there that you'll see, especially around holiday time. Right. But all these tools are lifetime warranty, yep. every single piece in here. And they're all individually part numbered. Absolutely. So if you lose one, you can run to our store, you can buy a socket from us, you can fill your set back up because we know you're going to lose the 10, mm -hmm. right? You're going to lose the 10 or you're going to lose a wrench. So let me show you the top of the box right here. The top of the box is where all of your metric wrenches are. And guys, this is actually a full set of wrenches. This thing doesn't mm -hmm. miss any wrenches. Most sets will give you like, they'll give you like a 19, but they won't give you a three quarter. Mm -hmm. So, or they'll give you a five eighths, but they won't give you a 16, you know, something like that. This has got every wrench in it. And the best part about it is it folds up and it all goes into this little case. And it it's makes, a nice chair. It's a nice little chair. It's a nice yeah. little stool. I'm going to actually turn this around backwards just so we can put this thing back together, put this on the bottom. And then uh, Drew, throw me <laughs> your tray. Oh, you got to put it in the right way, guys. Tool man even get it wrong sometime, you know? But yeah, guys, this is a great, great set to have for anyone and everyone, even if you don't do mechanicing all the time. If you're just a DIY guy or you do it on a weekend. Great holiday gift. It's a great holiday, holiday gift. gift. Um, and when it's all in the box, if you shake this thing, the sockets aren't going to move around. They're not going to fall out. They're going to stay in order, which is nice, too. Except for when FedEx comes by and decides to hurl it yes. off the truck. If you throw it at a friend or neighbor, it, yeah. will, it will probably get jarred. It's a lot for what price? For $249.99. This is the cheapest we've had it in a long time. We just did a video on this about probably two months ago, um, maybe even before that, and that was for $279, but now with the holidays up, we got a better deal for y'all. Um, but now we're gonna let Matt, I guess he's gonna talk about his next product that he wants to talk about. Dude, so. uh, actually this product's so brand new that I have not used it. Or I haven't we have, seen it or we have person. Not, we've not done a TikTok on it. There are not a few people out, there are not a lot of people out there that actually have this. I have wanted uh, to do a social media thing on it, but we don't own any real semis other than our tool truck. And if you have a tool truck, you don't need to pull your electrical no, disconnects no. apart because that thing's barely running anyway. <laughs> Absolutely. So uh, when I go to one of these semi places that has a very large connector, what's different about these are these are made out of carbon steel and they are for the bigger electrical disconnects and they're also made for the EVAP plugs. So if you have an EVAP plug, sometimes you have to push both connectors on both sides at the same time. This will allow you to do that, push both connectors on the same time and pull that connector off. So. Take care of your hands, guys. Keep your fingers pretty. Your wife would like for you to do that. Don't be boogering up on your nails and stuff like that all the time. Probably catch a little backlash on this that people say, I'm not a sissy. I'm not one either. But, you know, I don't want to punt, I don't want to screw up my fingers trying to get electrical disconnect off. But even like people will say, oh, well, I'm not a sissy. Well, you may not be a sissy, but you may have fat hands and you may not be able to fit in a tighter spot. And that's why this guy comes in place. Yes. So right. not just taking them off, but this is technically called the connector plier. So you can put it back in, in a tight reach spot where the electrical disconnect pliers that they came out are for disconnecting only. These you can do both with. I mean, these cards are getting so tight now. If you've 100%. looked underneath the hood of a Ford 2024 uh, six liter diesel or a 6.6, .6, whatever, what is it, Drew? 6.6, six, 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 seven. Six, seven, something like that. All of them Man, numbers. you couldn't fit a Tic Tac down in the mm -hmm. engine. So I don't know how you guys actually work on these things that you're working on. But those right there will help you. And, and they're also spring-loaded. Oh, spring-loaded. That's good. fingers idea. on them have a little bit of knurling, so mm -hmm. you've got a little grip, too, which is pretty nice. So. They're made out of some carbon. I don't remember the steel, but it's, carbon it's written right steel. here. Carbon it's fiber carbon, steel. Uh, carbon, carbon steel. So, yeah, yeah pretty carbon light. steel for extra strength and yeah. durability. That's right, yeah. Way to go, Lyle. And thank you so much for the uh, pullover. I haven't given them to this boy, these guys right here yet. No, he hasn't. But if you do want those, those are $26.99 on the website. We didn't say the price yet. So if you need those, get these and pair it up with the Lyle Disconnect Plier, and you get those on the website wow. too. Wow, bang, boom. All right, another brand new set coming to you from Lyle. This is the line wrench socket right here. Uh, you have seen this one right here. This one has been available. These were on back order for like a really long time from Lyle because they were so brand new, but they only made metric. Yeah. And uh, we really wish they would make an 18 because we were on the route last week and someone was asking for an 18 millimeter. I guess he was working on a postal truck or something. Uh, that and then a Cummings or something Was it something a Cummings like or a yeah, Ford yeah, yeah, yeah. and trying some, to get in? Some but diesel truck. I think an 18 comparable to that might be... 11 sixteenths, I'm not sure, but y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. I guess I don't have everything right, okay? But anyway, the meat is, is that they came out with a standard set. So we had such success on these, and what is a 
line wrench socket. So a line wrench socket would be a fastener that would come off of a power steering pump or something like that where you had the nut and the line immediately came off. Yes, you can use a line wrench, but a socket is so much easier. So it has a cutout where you can go in and take that fastener off and not disrupt the line. There are a lot of sensors on vehicles now that actually have a wire that come out of them. So you cannot get a socket on there and you might not be able to get a wrench on it. That's another application where this right here would come in very, very handy. Uh, I do not remember the price on this, but Connor probably has it written down. There are $139 for the standard, but you're going to get more pieces in the standard. So really popular tool by Lyle. Super excited to have those right there on board. And I hope they're not on back order. They're not. We I checked and they have at least 20 of them in stock in our closest warehouse. So those are available to you right now. As soon as these came out, they were on back order. And these Absolutely. right here probably yeah. will be. So you guys that are out there working on mail trucks, that's where I sold the most of mine period so you guys have some stuff that's coming up for winter that's absolutely essential we'll let drew go ahead oh yeah there we go <laughs> drew you're oh, so prepared yeah. oh my goodness <laughs> you're so prepared, just walked buddy. in here so this is the top don v22 air so uh me and matt and and connor online have been selling the top don v22 jump box on the trucks and we've had a lot of good luck. We used to sell other brands of jump box and we still do, but I prefer this one. A, these ones uh, come Because the warranty is so fantastic. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, the warranty, the people, you can get uh, call the number on the back of the box and you're going to talk to an actual human in New Jersey. Um, it's East Coast time, so my Tennessee customers that get mad at 4 o'clock when they're trying to call East Coast and don't realize it's 5 there, you know, whatever. But um, I don't know if this one comes in a case or not. It does, it does not. It does not. Okay, so the other V22s do come in the case. This guy is pretty beefy, though. Um, we saw this at SEMA and also um, ISN. ISN Tool Show, but this guy has a air compressor built in. And I know, I know, I know you guys all seen a jump box that has air compressor built into it, and you're like, okay, that's cheesy, or, you know, one piece will work and the other piece won't work, but this guy's pretty tough, man. I haven't got to play with it too much, but I haven't even top blown Don, up a tire with it. So no, I mean, yeah, I've seen a lot of videos on uh, social media about it. And people are ranting and raving about how good it is, but it's the same rating as a M18 tire inflator. So it can go from a five to 150 PSI. Nice. It has a cool mode on the selector on the front. When you hit that power button, Drew, uh -huh. um, and then hit the M button, you can change between what you're blowing up. So hit that M button. And then you can change between just tap it. It should change what it goes to. So you, it can tell you if you're doing a car, if you're doing a we'll put that on B-roll um, truck, if you're doing a basketball, if you're doing a float. And then hey, actually, up, you just turn the lights on too. So you have the lights. You have all the different selectors on there. And then Drew, I'm gonna get you to flip it over on the back. Oh, there's a red light. Yeah, looking at for safety. So if you flip it over on the back, there's a compartment down there that actually has it for your bicycle tires. Ah. It has your ball adapters ah, yes, yes, and it has yes. your float adapters. It's a little bit of a pain to open up. Um, but you get all your different items in there that your, you uh, need. All your taps. Mm -hmm. Taps. You know, but you I want to say I, I want to say that does a eight liter gas and a six liter diesel. Six liter diesel. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, do you know if it's Bluetooth capable? It Just is like, not. Okay. They so did not do that. The V2200 Plus, everyone likes because it's a battery tester, battery tester as well. Yeah, but it has the, a blue light on it. The air, they did not do that, unfortunately. But um they plan to possibly open that up here in the future based off what people at top don have said but so if you love your wife or you love your girlfriend you don't want to be stranded on the side of the road or have a flat tire this is the ultimate gift that you can give to anyone that has a warranty on it and uh we can sell it to you with confidence and how much is it's coming like that in cost? at 129.99 oh, 120 god that's cheap and that's also cheap. the cables on these i've been selling top don these size jump box, no, not this one, but same cable setup, and I've not had anyone bust these yet, which is yeah. pretty amazing. Pretty beefy. They're heavy duty, and if you do break them, Top Don's no questions asked. They'll send you a new set. They're not worried about it if Absolutely. you break one of those. Yeah. But talking about jump boxes, if you don't want a smaller one, we're going to pull out this guy right here. This is the Top Don V4500 Plus. This is their newest model right here. Um, but there's a few more features on this than you've ever seen on a Top Don jump box. So first, you're going to see these nice, big, beefy cables right here that you get. Um, it's going to give you, you're going to be able to jump off any 12-volt battery, um, gas or diesel with this guy. It does not do 24-volt. Um, I don't remember the exact cranking amps it is on it, but I'll look on the box right now to make sure I get it's it right. It's probably a lot. I'd say the 4500 4, would 4, jump off a, uh, uh, yeah. the size, I believe. 
Yeah, so you're going to be able to jump off, absolutely, it literally says on the box, it will jump off a 16 liter gas or diesel battery, so you're going to be able to do anything here. And then have you if ever you, seen a 16 liter? I have not. Me either. I didn't even know mm -hmm. that was a thing. No, that sounds mm -hmm. like a ship. Sounds yeah, like an airplane. Hey, I'm just reading the box. Guys. Yeah, it sounds nope. like an airplane or a ship or something. Navy it's ship probably a or... boat because they, this is also used for boats. That's one of the features they sell on it. But you're going to get the same light feature that Drew was, had on his where you can turn it on. And you get all Ooh, the different yeah. modes, red, flash, strobe, SOS. But a cool thing about this that's different than what this one is, these extra cables right here, you plug into the front, and then this becomes a battery tester as oh. well. Oh, wow. So you can test the battery. You can actually run a full diagnostic on the battery. Once you jump it off, you, it won't automatically cut this off, and it can give you a full data readout of what's going on with the battery. And that's going to be Bluetooth to your phone, right? Bluetooth to the okay. app, just like the V2200 Plus, the exact same app that you already have. Um, and this guy does not have a tire inflator on it like that guy, but this guy is going to help you out with anyone that's in the diesel world or even if you're working on a lot of bigger trucks, this is going to be great for you. Then they even give you a cigarette lighter outlet adapter to charge it. One thing that's different about that box that I've heard and, and read from or have heard from the guys that have been using it and the bad thing about jump boxes like this is they have like a 15 second runtime once the vehicle is started so if you jump your car off if your alternator does not kick in within the 15 seconds your car might die again mm -hmm. and keep on going so guys if you are looking for a jump box to go get your car that's way out there in the parking lot that has a completely dead battery and a bad alternator and you want to drive it all the way into the shop I want to be frank, this is not the jump box for you. Mm -hmm. But the V4500 will allow you to continue that runtime to get that car back to the shop within reason. Yep. Okay, 100%. not like four or five miles or something, but like just I mean, like... We've all drove a car down the road with a jump box under the hood, but you know... Sh it's a little sketchy when the hood blows up and hits the windshield. That's happened. <laughs> yes, but this box right here won't shut off within the 15 seconds and... and uh, cause you grief to have to re-jump the car off again and again. So. A lot of companies are trying to do a lot of things with jump boxes. I mean, everybody and their mom sells them. And we're trying to get to where we sell something that has a warranty. Uh, we get Alibaba people that call us all the time trying to get us to carry their jump box, and we just refuse to do that. We want to deal with a company that's USA-based, and that's why we choose to deal with uh, Top Don because we have a representative here that can take care of that stuff. If you do buy something from us and it has a problem, we have the ability to take care of it and not lose any money on our side either. So is that it for the video? I think that I think thing weighs it. like five pounds yeah, too. Yeah, that and was it's, something I was going to bring up. The JNCs that we carry, the jumping carriers. That's what I normally compare it to on the truck. And I'll, you know, and JNC makes an amazing jump box too. And But that's your that's the older box. style. <laughs> you yeah. know, that's, that's the one if you want to give to your friend to borrow because... You they need like to drive them. 15 miles exactly down the road but that thing weighs a good you know 20 pounds and that thing weighs like maybe four pounds if that yeah. so all thanks to those red lithium batteries that they're putting absolutely. on all this stuff well, yeah. not red lithium lithium ion batteries sorry yeah blue but lithium kind of close this out on our socials maybe yeah, yeah. so if y'all want to follow us on all of our social medias on Instagram, it is at Text Choice TikTok. It is at Text Choice Tools. And then here at YouTube, you know what it is because you're clearly watching this video. So make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, let us know how we did in this video. If you want to see a Milwaukee M18 jump box, let us know. We've been trying to bug Milwaukee about it. So if you want to see that, let us know in the comments so we know you watched the whole video. But, right. Go we got a lot of stuff coming up in our holiday guide. So, guys, you are going to have to follow us on Instagram and TikTok, just like Connor said. Uh, we are sorry we do not post here every single week if this is where you are watching or there's anything else that you would like to see changed. Oh, and thank you guys so much for watching the tr tool truck uh, tour. Sure. I'm actually going to be bringing my tool truck home uh, this weekend, and we will do a full tour of that. That will not air probably next week. We're going to let that video bank for a little while because i got to take it back to Franklin and go on. So... This is probably the most unprepared video that we've ever done, but guys, we've been pushed for time pretty pretty, mm -hmm. pretty hard, but we want to get one out to you, and we thank you guys so much for tuning into our channel. Share this if you don't mind. Y'all don't have anything else? Okay. We hope you guys have a, have a fantastic week. <laughs>